Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the Bar Restaurant Breakthroughs Podcast, where today uh, Dave Elred and I from Bar Patrol are going to talk about four profitable bar restaurant promotions for February. How you doing, Dave? I'm doing great. Great, too. I'm looking forward to this one. I know with uh, February looming over the horizon, you know, we're kind of coming off the holidays here. Everyone's still kind of hungover. Times are slow a little bit, so it's nice to have some uh, weapons in the arsenal. I know there's Valentine's Day, but you're either kind of a destination spot for Valentine's Day or you're not. So that's already kind of set in. So it's nice to kind of have, you know, some weapons that you can put in there. So uh, I'm looking forward to the the steps you have here and the promotions you got for February. Yeah. And also not on this episode, but the next episode that I have planned out for us is actually to talk about a Valentine's Day promotion. That isn't your typical Valentine's Day promotion. It's more of a awesome. video type thing. So we'll, uh, We'll, uh, we'll definitely talk about that next week. But uh, the very first one that I have is uh, obviously Super Bowl Sunday um, is going to be coming up. And, you know, if you're in a place like, uh, say, Chicago, where I'm at, and we just got beat by the Eagles, you know, we're, <laughs> we don't see ourselves. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was <laughs> rough. Oh, I, I was I was hurt, but uh, we don't see ourselves being in in the Super Bowl. So obviously, the cities, the states where you know you got uh, your, your team in the Super Bowl, you're going to be packed no matter what. Uh, so there's times even like if the Packers are in it, we'll be pretty busy. Vikings are in it, we'll be pretty busy where we're at. But you know, there's times where you know you might not be able to pack your your bar. Uh, with Super Bowl if just, you know, the right team is not in it. So one thing that I've done um, every year uh, pretty much is we do a TV giveaway. So I'll go out and I will uh, work with a sponsor and get them to pay half. Uh, we get 55-inch TVs from Sam's Club in my area for anywhere from 350 to 400 bucks. So it doesn't cost a whole lot. But I'm looking for something just to bribe people to get them in the door. A lot of people are doing Super Bowl parties these days. Um, so one thing I try to do is I do a big giveaway. And then when I'm promoting this through my email list, text list, um, or you know social media i'm letting i'm bringing up the fact that hey you gotta you can come in we're gonna cater to you we got these specials you got a chance to win this tv plus you know when when you have people over at your house you got to deal with people spilling on your couch your floor the cleanup this and that so i bring up some of the pain points to hopefully persuade them not to have that super bowl party but instead or not go to a Super Bowl party and maybe instead come to our bar to watch this because, you know, we got all these big flat screen TVs. We're going to take care of them. We've got great specials. Plus, I got a chance to win, uh, you know, a, a pretty uh, expensive TV. Um, so these have always worked really, really well. Um, and guys always want a bigger, bigger TV, you know, and so for us to promote this and get that TV doesn't cost us a whole lot, especially when uh, we're working with one of our sponsors uh, to do that. Uh, the other thing that we're really working on this this year is coming up with catering packages specifically for Super Bowl parties, you know, so doing the pizza, the wings and packaging things together. Easiest way for us to promote that is number one on our TVs in the bar, sending out an email, targeting people on Facebook who actually, you know, like our page and, and getting it down to, we're actually, I'm going to be, uh, not, not at this point, but we'll target men and women with this because a lot of the time, some of the guys, you know, they got their wife doing all the cooking and everything and they probably just would rather just say, hey, I'd rather just cater some stuff in where I don't have to do all this cooking or anything and just open up a box and some pans and boom, it's ready to go. Um, so those are a couple couple ideas uh, that, that have worked well for, for us. We're just starting the catering stuff this year. Um, but the Super Bowl party, what, what has worked best for us is, is doing that. Also doing uh, – Party package giveaways, you know, a few weeks before Super Bowl, we've done things where people can get, uh, you know, free pizza pasta, something that's inexpensive to, to, to feed people, and then give away like three packages of 10, you know, so they got to come in with a group of 10 to 15 people. Um, and we take care, care of that food. And, and then, you know, that brings an extra 30 people or so. Um, and again, this is all based on who's playing and how busy we, we think we're going to be with that. Um, but those, those three things is, are what, what we've done over the last uh, seven years that we've been open. Uh, for Let me Bowl. ask you this. Do, do you ever do the, uh, the squares, the Super Bowl squares uh, at your bar? We do that in our bar. We, we and, don't uh, because the, we used to, but six years ago in Illinois, they passed the, the legalized gambling machine. So we have like okay. five gambling machines like we have in Vegas um, or like you have in Vegas. So we can't have any kind of dice or any kind of, you know, any kind of stuff like that, like gotcha. squares and put, 
we'll lose our, our gaming license. We do too well on that to even. Which is a good note to everyone out there to make sure to check your state uh, laws yes. you know, gambling uh, during the Super Bowl. It, it, exactly, exactly. So that's promo number one. Promo number two is off the wall. Okay, this is something kind of crazy I did, and it's worked out really well. It's think of Mailman Day. Okay, and that's on the fourth of February. Again, you don't have to do this directly on the fourth, but I came up with this idea to reach out to our local post office, and I found out who the head person was in charge, and I got in contact with them over the phone and just to say, hey, you know, I'm Nick. I'm the owner of Casey's. Um, I'm sure you're probably aware of it, but, uh, the fourth is think a mailman day. And I came up with this off the wall kind of idea, but because of the, you know, the hard work and service that you and everybody else does, what I wanted to do was I wanted to actually give you guys a after work party and take care of the cost. And what I would like to do is, you know, invite everybody in after work, um, and take care of all the food for the party. Okay. And again, I did pizza, pasta, salad, garlic bread, doesn't cost much three, four bucks a person to feed. Um, and I I just wanted to do this for them and they paid for all the drinks. So they uh, picked out a date and we did everything for them. Everyone had a good time. Um, so over the last couple of years, we've done this and it brings in between 40 to 50 postal workers. And uh, now they even have their Christmas party at our bar as well. So from reaching out to do something nice, do something kind for them turned into other added revenue, other business. And even with us giving away this food, I mean, everyone, I would say, I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but I'm sure they're all, we're pretty much drinkers buying four to five drinks, you know, so they're spending another 15, 20 bucks on, on drinks on top of that. Plus now we, some of those people have never, ever been to our bar before um, and now come in for lunch or we'll order in lunch. So this is just something kind of off the wall and different that you could do that um, could turn into long-term profits in um, what I like to call a big money promotion, you know, if you can get, maybe your post office has 50, 60, 70, 80, a hundred people, you know, if you even have the room for that, but it's just a simple way, no marketing costs. You just reach out and ask, Hey, who, who's the head of, uh, you know, the post office or would I contact about a, you could even say a catering or whatever and just reach out and say, Hey, we want to do this for free. I wouldn't reach out and say, Hey, I want you to come in and I want you to pay this, but I would come up with some type of free offer, some kind of incentive, some kind of bait, to get them to bite, to get them to come in, show them a good time, and think about the lifetime value of that that party, those con or those people who come in versus just that that front end. Um, so that's think a mailman day, um, just kind of an off the wall promotion. That, that let, me, let me ask you this, Nick. So yeah. why did you pick mailman? I mean, is this something that can work with? Uh, I mean, can people brainstorm and work with other groups? Like we're going to go to. Uh, the DMV or the dentist or, you know, whatever that's off the top of my head, but is there other groups that they can target to bring in or why did yeah, why the mailman? I, yeah. I mean, the reason why I picked that is because February 4th is considered to be think a mailman day. And so oh, when I saw this, so when I saw this, I'm thinking, well, okay, what the hell, what kind of promotion could I come up with that? And that's, that's what I came up with. Um, gotcha. you know, so if there is, you know, DMV, this and that, you know, holidays, I don't know if there are or not, but I mean, still, you could still reach out and say, Hey, in February, we're running this special. We want to help out, you know, maybe you say Secret yeah, secretaries or teachers or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just reaching out, talking to people saying, Hey, we want to do something great for you guys. I mean, there's national teachers day. I think that's in August or September or something, which we've uh -huh. done something very similar there too. So, but yeah, you can hit, hit different groups. But the reason why I picked this one is because it's actual thank mailman day on in the, february yeah in in february um this one send a card to a friend day so this is the seventh this is the perfect email opportunity to send to your email list i talked to i'm huge on on email marketing why because it brings an average of a 3800 roi um and it flat out works when you know how to use email um and one of the reasons email works so well for me for my clients is because of what i teach and preach build trust, credibility, relationship through your marketing, stay in consistent communication with your customers and don't always just keep hammering them with, Hey, here's our specials. Here's our promotions and whatnot. Um, I like to be a little bit more personal, tell them what's going on with my family inside the bar with employees. I want to get these people to feel like they know me on a personal level. Um, even if they've never met me before. So this is just the perfect email to, to, to send out and let them know that, Hey, you know, or just go within the email. You always want to tell them why you're sending them that email or where this may have come from, but just say, Hey, you know, today, not sure if you knew it is send a friend to a card day. Um, it's the 7th of February. I did not have your, uh, 
uh, your mailing address. So I thought the least I could do is just send you a quick email saying, hey, I just wanted to say thank you for your support, your loyalty to, you know, Casey's Pub. And you could put an offer in there to get them in the door, you know, bring this in, get 20% off your tab, get a burger, buy a burger, get a burger free. You know, you can put whatever kind of offer you want in here. It's just the perfect opportunity to reach out and say thanks for their business uh, based around this holiday and then put an offer or not in there, you know, to drive people back in the door um, if you wanted to. But it's just a very simple way to stay in consistent communication with your list. And how many other bar or restaurant owners do you know that are reaching out and focusing on their customers, thanking them for their business and, and running this kind of promotion? You know, I always like to come up with off the wall shit that other owners are not doing. I want people to be like, whoa, this is weird. or This is strange. This is nice. You know, yes, weird and strange is good, but also having that nice part on or that value driven part at the end, because that's what's going to stick in their minds versus, you know, these, all these other bar restaurant owners kind of doing the same shit over and over. You want to stand out what we're fighting for when we are marketing to existing customers or non-existing customers, you know, people who don't know about us is their attention. <laughs> you know, if we can't get their attention, no. Everything else is pointless, right? So this is just a way to kind of grab that attention, stick in their minds and give them a great offer or just say thank you for their business. You can get an image created of an actual card that would have went out in the mail, you know, if you use it saying, hey, I don't have your mailing address. This is what I wanted to send you, but hey, this is the least I could do by sending it to your email. So that's send a friend to a card day. Next one is the 9th of February is National Pizza Pie Day. So if you serve pizza, yeah. Obviously, one thing you could do is come up with different pizza specials. Uh, one thing we've, we've ran, a, uh, I want to say three or four pizza eating competitions in the past. The last couple of years, we haven't because we run a, a eight week promotion for the Boys and Girls Club, a big charity event. Um, but these worked out really well. So I'll kind of tell you how we ran these pizza eating competitions. And they bring in about 50 to 60 people on average. But what we would do is we'd look for 15 different guys uh, who would want or girls who would want to get in the pizza eating competition. We did a medium cheese or a medium, yeah, just a medium cheese pizza, whoever could eat it the fastest. And we tried to get 15 contestants. Those contestants would pay $5 ahead of time to get their commitment and that paid for the pizza um so they were pretty much paying for the cost of the pizza and we would get a big white table you know and five people would first go up there because we wanted this to last we didn't want all 15 people going at the same time um but we'd always tell people or we'd run a special half off on pizzas and what drew so many people in is when somebody gets in they're telling people yeah i'm, I'm in this pizza eating competition their friends want to go see it you know their family wants to go see them do this it's entertaining it's different it's wild it's a wacky promotion and people People, you know, are looking for that different type of stuff. And this has always worked out really, really well for us. We've also done a one pound eating competition or one pound, one pound burger eating competition that has worked out really well um, too. But the whole idea is just to get, you know, 15 guys, if they all bring five people, uh, what's five times 15, uh, 60, 70, 75. Yeah, 75 people. My math is great today. 75 people in the door. You know, if they just bring five people, um, plus you have your existing customers that are going to come in and watch this stuff as well. So, um, again, if you've never done one and want to do something kind of crazy and wacky, you could do that. If you don't serve pizza, you could still do a pizza eating competition. I used to do all of our party booking promotions using a buddy of mine, Frank, who owned this place, Napoli's Pizza, a mile down the street with, from us when we had a very small kitchen. You know, I'd get my pizzas and pasta from him at a very inexpensive cost. It worked out for him because he had literally over a year, thousands of different people trying his food, asking where it's from. I'm paying pretty much the food cost on it. And so it's like I'm promoting him. Um, in his business, people are trying his food. It worked out really well. So if you're thinking, ah, Nick, I don't serve pizzas. This wouldn't work for me. It will work with another uh, pizza place. Another offer you could do for pizzas, you know, you get the first X amount of people in the door, they get maybe a free pizza or they buy one, get one. Um, you could do a group of four people who order two beverages, maybe gets a free pizza or a group of four who comes in and spends $5 on beverages. You know, there's that's five times four, 20 bucks and you give away a free pizza that costs you three bucks. You know, it works out. So those are some different offers that you could run. Um, for National Pizza Pie Day. And uh, we got 21 other promotions for you that are not in this video or in this podcast. But if you do want to download those, you can get them in the digital magazine for February. A link will be below this video. It's a free download and you can get the other 21 promotions uh, for February. Dave, anything you want to add to that? No, I think that's awesome. When you start doing promotion stuff, uh, 
I realize how many days that they have celebrations for. So uh, yeah, going through the calendar and looking at uh, certain theme days throughout the year, like you said, being crazy and wild, I really like uh, the thought of that because it's true. That's what's going to stand out in your memory when you think of a place. Uh, the same old same old thing is not going to work. So uh, beyond what Nick's doing here, he's got a ton of them. But go look at your calendar and see what you can do on there and get creative with. I think that's awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Dave. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. And remember, next episode that we have coming up, I think it's episode 32 maybe. Uh, but we're going to talk about how to pack single women into your bar.